December 2025. The AI industry's landscape just shattered. OpenAI, the company that started this entire AI revolution, is suddenly fighting for survival. And what happened in the last 48 hours has even the top AI experts scrambling. What I'm about to share isn't speculation about some distant future. This is happening right now. The company that gave us ChatGPT just declared code red. Sam Altman sent an internal memo that changed everything and the implications, they're bigger than most people realize. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. Work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. For three years, OpenAI was untouchable. ChatGPT launched in 2022 and absolutely transformed how we think about artificial intelligence. 800 million weekly users, the gold standard, the company everyone else was chasing, but here's what just changed. Google dropped Gemini 3 in November, and it didn't just compete with ChatGPT, it destroyed it on key benchmarks. We're talking abstract reasoning, visual processing, scientific knowledge, areas where OpenAI used to dominate, and OpenAI, they're scrambling, according to the Wall Street Journal and The Verge. Sam Altman sent an internal code red memo to his entire team, the message, drop everything, delay other projects, focus exclusively on improving ChatGPT's quality. Why the panic? Because GPT 5.2, originally scheduled for late December, is now launching this Tuesday, December 9th. That's how urgent this is. Think about that. The company that revolutionized AI is now in emergency mode, rushing out updates to keep pace with Google. This isn't a company cruising to victory. This is a company fighting for its life. But here's what's really wild. This isn't just about who has the best chatbot. This is about money, infrastructure, and the brutal economics of AI. OpenAI has a massive problem. They're spending astronomical amounts on computing power, data centers, and development. And they're still not profitable. According to HSBC analysts reported in the Financial Times, OpenAI could hit $213 billion in revenue by 2030 and still lose over $70 billion because of infrastructure costs. Meanwhile, Google, they're planning to invest $93 billion in AI this year alone. And here's the kicker. They already have the infrastructure. Google search reaches billions. Google Cloud is massive. YouTube, Gmail, Android, distribution channels. OpenAI can only dream about. OpenAI has to monetize through subscriptions and licensing deals. Google just integrates Gemini into products that already make them $100 billion per quarter. Wall Street is watching this closely. Companies associated with OpenAI, Oracle, CoreWeave, AMD, even Microsoft, have seen their stocks come under heavy selling pressure. Meanwhile, companies in Google's ecosystem, Broadcom, Lumentum, Celestica, are thriving. As Deutsche Bank analyst Adrian Cox told Bloomberg, we've reached a point where it's not only about having the best model, but also about access to computing power and the ability to turn that technology into revenue. And open AI is losing on both fronts. Here's what makes this even more interesting. The race isn't just between OpenAI and Google anymore. Anthropics Claude is gaining ground. Chinese companies like Baidu with DeepSeek are claiming performance on par with GPT-5. Even NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang warned that China is only nanoseconds behind America in AI. So what's actually launching potentially now? According to reports, GPT 5.2 will focus on three things, speed, reliability, and customizability. 
This isn't about flashy new features. This is about closing the performance gap that Google just opened. But there's more. OpenAI has a secret project codenamed Garlic, potentially launching as GPT 5.5 in early 2026. This is their real play, a smaller model that retains the knowledge of a much larger system, dramatically reducing costs while improving speed. The question is, will they make it in time? Here's what this really means. We're watching the AI landscape completely restructure in real time. OpenAI went from industry leader to serious underdog in less than a month. Google went from playing catch up to potentially dominating the entire space. And this is just the beginning. These companies are spending billions, yes, billions with a B, every single month on AI infrastructure. Google's $93 billion investment this year, that's more than the GDP of some countries. The models are getting more sophisticated, the competition is intensifying, and the barrier to entry, it's getting impossibly high. Only companies with massive resources, existing distribution, and their own chip manufacturing can compete at this level. But here's what keeps me up at night. OpenAI raised money at a $157 billion valuation. They told investors they might not be profitable until 2030. Their revenue has to close a $207 billion gap between now and 2033 just to cover spending commitments. When Sam Altman was recently asked how OpenAI can make spending commitments that far exceed their revenue, his response? If you want to sell your shares, I'll find you a buyer. That's not the answer of a CEO confident in his business model. That's the answer of someone who knows the numbers don't add up yet. So what happens next? Soon we'll see GPT 5.2. It might beat Gemini 3 in some benchmarks. It might not. But the larger story here isn't about one model beating another. This is about the fundamental restructuring of the AI industry. It's about whether OpenAI can build a sustainable business model before they run out of runway. It's about whether Google's massive infrastructure advantages become insurmountable. And it's about whether any other player can even compete at this level. The AI race isn't slowing down. If anything, it's accelerating in ways that are frankly terrifying even to industry insiders. The question isn't, will AI change everything anymore? We're past that. The question now is, who will control the AI that changes everything? And for the first time since 2022, the answer might not be open AI. I'll be watching this launch closely and breaking down exactly what it means for the future of AI. Hit subscribe so you don't miss the analysis. Drop a comment with your predictions. Is open AI going to regain the lead or is Google about to dominate this space? The next chapter of the AI revolution is being written right now, and nobody knows how it ends. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.